Hi. Um, so I have always intended to make a video talking about Raven Reyes and why she is one of my favorite disabled characters in the media currently. Um, but in this video, I'm going to focus on um, the relationship between Murphy and Raven, which is very, you know, platonic and like they're friends and it's it's great and I love the dynamic between them. But recently, I have been seeing a lot of hate all about them on Tumblr and it, I don't think I ever want to see them in a canon setting like I think the criticisms against him shooting her are kind of valid I guess and so I don't really want to see that in a canon setting but I do want to bring forth some ideas especially being super into disability studies, I kind of want to bring up some things. So, from Raven, like, this is a theory kind of meta thing that I've been kind of meaning to write a post about, but I think it might just be easier to talk to my camera. But one of the biggest tropes concerning disabled people is the disabled villain who becomes disabled, and from that moment on, their sole motivation is to get revenge <laughs> on the person who disabled them. And I think with Raven, it kind of, she didn't, it appeared at first that she forgave Murphy and that was kind of interesting and she doesn't and it's almost kind of subversive if, if she were to fall in love with him or even where they are now where they have a really good friendship. Like I think that works really well because she doesn't like even when she you know turns him over when she tries to turn him over to the grounders for what finn did it wasn't even because he shot her necessarily it's because she was trying to get she was trying to save finn and she didn't think that she didn't feel bad because it was murphy who shot her and i think that's a little different than necessarily having Miles in place for him because had Finn not done what he had done, I don't think she would have necessarily done anything with Murphy, except maybe forgotten about him. Or maybe she's just someone who would have kept that under her belt. Um, and then even from Murphy's point of view, from like um, Murphy's character development, um, he was betrayed by Bellamy. Um, and a lot of people are, I don't want to justify what he did necessarily, but he was betrayed by Bellamy and up until that point where him and Raven meet in season two, he was very angry, justifiably so, I guess. And, you know, he, he's out to get Bellamy because, you know, he was blamed for something that he didn't do. And then he was betrayed, and so he has a lot of anger, and he obviously cannot forgive anyone for the wrongs that he's faced. But almost when Raven decides not to turn him over to Abby, you kind of see a shift in him. Where he's no longer, like, if this girl can forgive him for shooting her, why can't he start to forgive Bellamy and them for all the pain and suffering that he's been through. So I think that's like a very dramatic point in both of their lives, kind of. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I, I think, I think that's all I wanted to see. I will link below though, one of my favorite fan fictions out there that kind of gets the dynamic and it kind of, does this thing, usually also one of the tropes that I love that comes up a lot is that they're both survivalists, um, that they don't have this like whole moral purity thing going on, such as Bellamy and Clark, which is a whole nother conversation. I'm not going to get into that. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Um, bye.